plow is right. Right, I can barely see. <laughs> it is nice. It is really nice. It is nice. It's we got lucky. Yeah, actually, we did. It's a very beautiful fall weekend, and during the day it's going to be in the 70s. At night it drops to like 40s, and we are in New Hampshire. We're exploring the White Mountains. Where is the Airbnb? Do you know what town we're in? This is, uh, I think, North Conway. North Conway. Yeah. So we are with Noelle's family. We rented an entire Airbnb. We're not going to be really showing you guys much of the family just to keep things private, but um, we came yesterday to the Airbnb and we all just hung out, had a fire, yeah. cooked dinner. We party down a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> so we I didn't made, film that. Yeah. And so then I made uh, barbacoa. Yeah, for the for, morning. For morning. So yeah. normally I did the barbacoa at night in a slow cooker. Like crock pot. And it just cooks all night long and then wake up in the morning the whole house comes up before I Dance. Okay, let's yep. do that barbacoa dance. Let me see it. That was kind of more of a dance. Well, everyone was dancing yesterday, yeah. and I'm not posting those videos for YouTube, but we're gonna cherish those YouTube video those videos forever. Yes. Not YouTube, but those fun. memories. Time, it it, yeah, and it's such a blessing just to get together with family, and the fall holidays, winter reminds you of that. That it's like the best time to get together with family. I guess that's any time, but you know. And so today we're gonna go hiking and we're gonna show you guys some of the White Mountains, where we go, what trail we do, just as like a mini travel vlog. So if you guys ever are looking for places to stay and places to explore near White Mountains, we're here for a weekend. We're gonna show you our itinerary. Hopefully you guys enjoy coming along for the ride um, and all the fall vibes. I'm gonna try and give you guys all the cinematography, cinematic, cinematic, cinematic fall vibes. But I'm already hot in the sun. You are hot. You're so annoying. You're annoying. He's annoying. <laughs> we had the cutest Airbnb. It was so pretty and spacious. On the outside, it looked deceiving. Small, but it has a pretty big family. Each room was themed based off of an animal. So there was a bedroom that was basically the moose room. And there was another bedroom that was the bear room. And the owners of the Airbnb were really thoughtful with how they decorated the place. The bed sheets and everything, all the tiny little details really made us remember that we were in New Hampshire and made us feel that way. The kitchen was where we spent most of our time. And it was really beautiful, really well lit. They actually also had two different fireplaces so they had a porch on a deck outside of we didn't use that fireplace we used the fire pit that's outside in the backyard but it was the best hangout spot that we could have ever asked for and they stocked us up with everything hot cocoa tea coffee 10 out of 10 loved our airbnb experience we even loved the town that it was in after getting settled in on Friday, on Saturday we took off to do most of our exploring around the White Mountains. And most of the drive was along this highway called the Kankamagus Highway, which is really, really famous. The first stop off of that highway was basically this long, long river. And that was where we first stopped for family photos and to explore. Something interesting happened while we were there. A woman happened to slip and start sliding. The current was really, really strong. So Noel and his son jumped in to help her because she could not swim. And so because of that, everyone got their clothes wet and we had to go back and change. We had to change clothing. We stopped at a river. Um, I took a video, I forget the name of the river already, 
we stopped there to take some family photos and the lady had slipped into the water and Noelle had to go into the river and dig her out. <laughs> so we had to go home and change because he was soaked. Nevertheless, we went, we got changed and just tried again from scratch and we went hiking as a family. This was our first trail. That place was called Sabaday Falls, if I'm pronouncing it right. S-A-B-B-A-D-A-Y. Sabaday. So that was our first trail that we hiked. After that, we tried the waterfall in Mount Chokora. And then we saved our last destination for our last day, which was going to be on Sunday but we really, really thoroughly enjoyed all the fall foliage and the details that we could see in the breathtaking white mountains within the nature. After a long day of hiking, we all went home and we hung out as a family. So we did different crafts, we did a puzzle. I have not done a puzzle in a long time and it felt so good to just be off of my phone doing a puzzle. We played card games and then, for the first time ever, I did pumpkin carving. Noelle's family does this every year, and I have never done pumpkin carving before, so this was an extremely fun experience for me. I never knew how they were carved, so I got to cut them out, empty them. Somebody in Noelle's family toasted all of the seeds, so now we have a bunch of pumpkin seeds at home, and everyone got to decide what they wanted to design. I realized that I am not very good with a knife. Noel is, and so are his family members. As you guys can see, everything turned out really, really great. I did the bat. That one was mine. After that, this one was Noel's. We had a family fire. There's no trip complete without a family bonfire, some s'mores, and telling scary stories. We did all of that. And the next morning on Sunday, we had a really wonderful breakfast as a family before our last exploration and our last hike. We were planning on packing up and checking out of the Airbnb after breakfast and then going to visit what is called the Rocky Gorge. The Rocky Gorge is also along the Kankamagas Highway. Again, there's so many different mountains you could never explore it all in just a few days. The Rocky Gorge is more of a scenic stop instead of a hiking stop so you don't need to spend too much time there but it is breathtaking so it's a great place to take a ton of videos and family photos Shadows all over you. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh yeah, I just wanted to pick the top. Oh, <laughs> spooky hand on your face. <laughs> that was actually kind of funny. And we're back home. And it's Whiskey's birthday. Whiskey, you want to come here? You want to say hi, birthday boy? You want to say hi? Okay, he's very. Very hyper. I cannot keep this. Okay, no biting. No love bites. No, I know. Oh my god! <laughs> Skin on my armpit. <laughs> oh. Okay. Whiskey, it's enough. He's, to today. he's too much for me to handle. <laughs> so yes, we after a three-hour drive, we we're three and a half home. with yeah. all the traffic. Yeah, Dear God. Dear God. The drive back was eternal, but we had a good time. A successful. 
a successful family trip all together. So that was nice. Usually we go on these YouTube trips like maybe somebody accompanies us, but not the whole family. So how was that? This was my first time to the White Mountains and uh, definitely a place to see. And we only saw a small, like, you know, yeah. small 1% of probably what's out there to see. But yeah. um, if you go there, I think you definitely need like a week mm -hmm. to be able to see, see everything probably. Yeah. But highly recommended. It's a must. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. See you in the next one. Bye.